Sorry, buddy. That was an accident. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, I think I made him mad. I don't blame him. I think I'd be kind of pissed if somebody came and ran me with a horse. But they shouldn't have been standing there. Well, howdy, folks. It's that time again to check on YouTube's favorite bounty hunter, Billy E. Winter as he rides through the wild west to find his next bounty so he can finally make enough money for him and his gang so they can finally open up that dog friendly saloon they've been dreaming about for so many long years let's all tune in to see who he has set his sights on this time okay all right, well, listen. Okay, okay, I, I get it. Listen, I need to tell you something. I'm about to go into town and see if I can uh, pick up another bounty, you know. Uh, I got to keep on the grind and make sure that I'm, I'm earning enough cash for the gang. Also, just to flip back over to what you were just saying, you might be able to sleep uh, in a hotel room or a room of four walls if you stop sleeping in the swamp in a campsite. That's just, you know... Just a little advice. Anyways, partner, I'm out of here. I'm going to go into town. You need anything from the store? Milk, eggs, bread, anything? Can of beans? No, you like them beans. You sure you don't want any beans? Come on, buddy. Tell me you want some beans. Do it, I dare you. I dare you. I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Yeah, but for real, if you need anything, uh, well, you better tell me now because we don't have phones. Uh, that, 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 that doesn't exist yet, so. Alright, man, I'm out of here. You, uh, call me on your, uh, pigeon if you need anything. Hannibal, let's go, buddy. I see ya. Hold on, I'm coming. How you doing, gentlemen? Now, uh, let's see what's on the wall today, Hannibal. I think it's gonna be a beautiful day. Hopefully, we'll get some people that, you know won't give us any trouble and just be perfectly willing to go along with us how you doing partner good morning mister. yeah good morning to you sir all right let's see who we got here we got shane and virginia meyer beware this couple they have been known to present a false front with virginia placating a lady in distress and shane lying in wait to ambush wanted for robbery assault and murder well, Hannibal, I think we found our first uh, bounty. Seems like Shane and Virginia has done met their match and will soon meet their maker. Mm-hmm. They're gonna be sorry they messed with us, I'll tell you that. Come on, Hannibal. The morning was crisp, the sun was rising, and Billy Winter was excited. If he could turn in Howdy. these two bounties, he'd be that much closer to realizing his dreams of opening the only dog-friendly saloon. But something wasn't right. Something yep. was bothering Good him. Good day to you, sir. He couldn't shake the feeling that this bounty wasn't going to be as easy as he'd hoped. Nonetheless, he was focused and he was ready. Sorry, buddy. That was an accident. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, I think I made him mad. I don't blame him. I think I'd be kind of pissed if somebody came and ran me with a horse. But they shouldn't have been standing there. Too, too, too aggressive, lack. Yeah, we're not off to a good start. 
Oh, no, you don't. We're not letting him get away. We can't start the day like this. Well, we got one. We'll get the other one later. You? Hannibal, you all right? I got one of them. See if you can find the other one. Oh, he's gone? I think that's what your name was. It says your name is Hannibal, but you're not Hannibal. Hannibal was a black horse and you're a skinny, deathly, sickly horse, so... Let's head back this way. All right, we better get you back to, uh... Back to the the sheriff's, Miss Lady. Mister, you're a real piece of sh well, thank you, ma'am. I really appreciate you saying that. I know that a compliment from you must mean a lot, so I really appreciate that. Oh. Don't please. All right, ma'am. We don't want to. Come on. All right, ma'am. Please calm down, okay? I was just trying to pull you out of the out of the bushes now, okay? All right, calm down. All right, Nay, come on. Now, well, after we drop you off, Virginia, we're gonna go uh, see if we can't find the real Hannibal and not this imposter here. Well, I probably could, but I, I don't think I will, but thank you for the, uh, the suggestion. I'll, I'll keep it in mind. Uh, again, I'm sorry I dragged you out the field like I did, but, you know, we had to do what we had to do. Well, I understand how you feel, man, but listen, I, I get it, okay? I get it. All right, Virginia, I think we just go right in these here doors and you'll be uh, free to go to jail. But you'll be free to go. Well, thank you, sir. I know it's only half of what we wanted, but yep. take what we can get. All right, now let's go to the stable and see if we can't uh, get the real Slim Shady back. All right. Now we did some... Pointless cosmetic stuff, let's get on out here. Hey. Holy hell. Soda, how the hell are you? Soda, where the hell are you? Oh my god, howdy partner. What are you, man, I, I tell you what, I've just been trying to set up our, uh, our little foundation here. I've not made much money, I made about $13 how much I have on me at the moment. But, we're one step closer to opening up our dog-friendly saloon. So, I figured, uh, you know, we make sure that we're bounty hunting. And, and then, once we earn enough money, we'll open up that saloon we've been talking about for so many years. That's dog-friendly to the public. How does that sound to you? Sounds good to me. Billy couldn't be happier about running into his longtime friend and business partner Soda outside the stables after collecting Hannibal from the impound lot. Once they finished catching up and talking about old times and their business plans, they both agreed to take on another bounty. Billy was feeling more than confident now. With Soda now helping him bring in the bounties, he figured it was going to be much sooner than go later on, that they'd be able to make get good on their go. long sought after ambitions. Billy's luck finally <laughs> seemed to be in his favor. Sorry. Well, I guess we'll soon find that out. Howdy, partner. Hey, howdy. All right, Soda. Let's see. We got Mac Ferrelli. Wanted for strangulation murder of his brother-in-law, State Marshal Alan Peters. Oh, hell no. We better go after Mac Farrelly. He sounds like a real scumbag. Yeah, we're coming for you, Mac. Twisted son of a gun. Well, while Soda and Billy were on their way to bring in the deplorable Mr. Farrelly, the pair was stopped by a man who went by the name Chief. 
Little did they know at the time, but they were speaking to a future member of their gang. Chief was about to join them on their journey, and he was going to attempt to prove himself a hundred times over again. But the question still remained, is Chief really the trustworthy amigo he was saying he was, or is there a secret agenda he was working? These were the thoughts plaguing Billy Winter's mind, stressing the instinctual untrusting nature of Billy. I guess time will tell whose side he really is on. Go on, get out of here, pigs! Get gone! Oh. Not shooting this place up. Yeah, you see the target? Let me get to the other side just in case they try to run. You fire when ready. Sorry that'd be this way, buddy, but you show us some professional courtesy, you're a professional uh, scumbag, and we're bounty hunters, so just, you know, try to behave. Job well done, boys. Let's ride. Oh, he just jumped up. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. You got his guys. <laughs> <laughs> he just jumped off your horse. Yeah, he jumped off a horse that right and he ran. <laughs> uh, oopsie daisy, come on buddy. Here we go. Yeah. yeah, you just get comfortable right up there, buddy. It happens. It happens. Yeah, uh, you can call me XO, that's alright. Oh my god, are y'all all right? <laughs> we had a horse accident. <laughs> Make sure to, you know, give each other your insurance. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it won't. It was really an accident anyway. He fell off a horse. You know, freak accident. Well, even though Mr. Fairley met an untimely death, Due to thinking it'd be a good idea to slip his ropes while going at top speeds on a horse with two other ones right behind him, the trio was not discouraged. Well, they still got paid with a small penalty due to the bounty being dead. They decided they would try and haul one more in before the night was over, and this time they aimed to do it right and would make sure nothing got in the way of them getting the full pay and that Jeremiah Dufferance had his chance to meet the kind officers of the St. Denis Police Station. Billy was realizing he had himself a good team, and with them, his goals were more attainable than ever. Yeah, I, I feel you, man. I got hit by a, a coach yesterday. I was not happy but luckily i got their insurance oh mother oh 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 oh, 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 oh. hannibal you all right oh damn oh man i tried to get like you commander chief i i just took a plow into this fence and it was uh it was a crazy ride let me tell you Uh, I say we just get on each side of the area so they don't get away, so... How about, Chief, you and me are gonna go around back and then you, Soda, you and the, uh, you and Beach take the front.
Here's the. Oh, don't shoot him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, we are. We are some damn fools. Don't forget it. I think my horse got uh, hit by a train or something. So, uh, let's see. Soda, I'm going to put him on, on your uh, your horse. Seconds, we'll get an extra bonus. Seconds oh, hell yeah. You're uh, you look like a pretty professional bounty hunter. I'm pretty impressed. I wish you nothing but the best, ma'am. I know that was impressive. I was sitting there like, damn, look at her go. Well, boys, I think we're ready for the big time. I mean, we've done a few minor ones. What, what do you all say about doing a legendary bounty? What do you all think about that? Y'all think we're ready? Oh, all right, boys. Oh, hell yeah. Let's do this. Billy took a very personal interest in taking on the extremely difficult bounty case of Cecil C. Tucker because he didn't take kindly to folks hurting women and children. Billy and his gang had their sights set on Mr. Tucker, and they didn't plan on taking much care that he found his way to a jail cell. This inhumane monster was about to be dealt a swift hand of justice delivered to him by Billy and the boys, and they weren't about to let him slip through their fingers. All right, boys. Just want you to know I'm proud of every one of you. We're gonna make it out of this alive and uh, just kill any son of a gun that gets in your way. You get into a place you ought not to be. Back up. <laughs> you back up, buddy. Where are you hiding, you sneaky son of a gun? You're just making it harder on yourself. Come on out. We know you're here, Cecil Tucker. They're coming, boys. Y'all get ready. Y'all doing great. Hang in there. He's coming by a wagon. Or is he getting away? He's getting away. Hang in there, boys. I think that's it. Well, they finally did it. They put a stop to the reign of the evil mass murderer Cecil. They would take a pay cut for not bringing him in alive, but that's a decision Billy and the boys could live with. Billy is thinking he finally found his calling, and with Soda and Chief getting his back, his plans are finally looking like they're about to fall into place, and Billy realized 
they are one step closer to opening that saloon. I hope you enjoyed this adventure, and I hope you come back and see what's next for Billy and the boys. Come back and see who Billy has his sights set on next time. Oh, and always remember that a great take care can take great care of you. I'm Exo Winner. I'll see you in the next video. See ya!